did too much. Like, it's not going well for me. There's like an annoying friend who's like, come on, Charlie! <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then you're just like, fuck it! But you like look like shit now. <laughs> This episode is being supported by Tape It. If you currently use voice notes to record your ideas, you should try Tape It instead. Bumping that, which in 360 is kind of about like bumping that song, like you're going to like bump my song, whatever, like you want to play it all the time. In 365, I suppose it took on like slightly more explicit um, meaning. uh, And I kind of like that switch up you know but yeah i think that was kind of the main thing that was kept in your um in your dj edit and i started just driving around in the car and i was like filling in these gaps and i kind of liked that the call and response throughout the entire track was uh bumping that bumping that like all the time and then i started thinking about okay so these lyrics are kind of like about this crazy night out um and I started to think about when you go to a party and you're like, okay, I'm going to have a big night. You start off, well, at least I do. I start off feeling like really cute. Like I've got my outfit on, like my makeup's good. Like I'm really feeling myself. I think I look really hot, whatever. And I like go to the party and I'm feeling like super cute. And like the beginning of 365 is very that. It's very like whenever we work together, sometimes I'll just be like, Alex, like I need the cute, like the cute chords. Like, and you know exactly what I mean. Yeah, like so the, it's 360. It's yeah. 360, it's focus, it's unlock it. It's like those yeah. like chords. I'm like, I need the cute chords. So um, 365 very much starts in that world. And then I kind of wanted it to go on this journey of a night out where I'm imagining I'm in this like super club and every door I go through, it's a different room in the club and the room sounds slightly different. And you can really hear that in the track. And um, this is why I love working with Alex. Like I can say that and he totally understands what I mean. And so in each part of the club, in each part of the song, sorry, I'm going into different rooms where the music sounds slightly different. There's like one part where it feels like I'm kind of in the bathroom, like getting more fucked up. And then I come back out and then the music sounds like a little bit different. And then at the end, it's like totally blown out. And it's kind of like this journey of a night out where at the end you kind of become this girl who's like, oh, it's like, oh my God, go home. Like you're being too crazy. You stayed at the party for too long. And the music is totally reflective of that. I think we've got to hear this. We've got to hear that well, journey. Yeah, let's yeah, maybe we should go through some of the different rooms. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, I... I uh... There's definitely a Daft Punk room in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I basically, so yeah, I guess a session I've tidied up slightly in the brat colours. Nice. Uh, but this is, yeah. What, what are the brat colours for anybody who doesn't well, know? Well, there's the brat green, green and then there's the brat green European version. <laughs> <laughs> then there's, yeah. the there's the vinyl version. Brit yeah. pop t shirt green. It's yeah. all, yeah. yeah, it's all a bit, bit, uh, green. Green, yeah. So this episode is being supported by Tape It. If you, like so many of our guests, use voice notes to capture your ideas, you are going to love Tape It. It is the iPhone recording app designed specifically for musicians and songwriters. With Tape It, you can record straight from your lock screen, set markers, add notes, and even include photos of settings. Plus, there's Cloud Sync, you can import your old voice notes, and to stay on top of it all, Tape It has great labeling features like automatic instrument detection. And all of the above is free. If you currently use voice notes, switching to Tape It is a no-brainer. But that's not all. Tape It has the option to upgrade to using two microphones on your iPhone, along with gentler dynamic compression to give a much more natural sound than any of the usual apps. And we have a special offer of a whole month of this high-quality recording for free. Just head to tape.it forward slash tape notes to try it for yourself and see what a difference it makes. So... Yeah, it's just it's open a. That, open that, open that, open that. It's not even the final version of the sixty. This it's like the session instrumental, uh, which is similar, and I've split okay, up. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So that bit's pretty, uh, pretty similar, uh, and it's got you obviously got new vocals. Three six five party girl, French manicure, wipe away the residue, push my hair back, look hot when I'm. 
No, I really don't stop when I'm gonna jump. When this room also has like another room inside the room, I think. Yeah, I feel like this is a corridor. Yeah. This is like you're walking, like down the corridor, you're a little, you're getting a little bit fierce. Then you go just a room. Yeah. Now you're great. Right. When I'm in the club, yeah, I'm three, six, five. Pretty like rapey, you're still pretty coherent, but you're like going hard. You Do you go back to another corridor, the same corridor? This well, now you're going to the bathroom, I think. Here. Okay, okay. Yeah, different. The bathroom. Dark punk room next to door though. Still bumping through the wall, yeah. Yeah, it's like done. Wait, come on, let's go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come in this cubicle. Yeah. Go home, don't sleep, don't. And now it's like, oh my god, I'm in the mirror. Like, wait, let me just like do my makeup again. Okay, now you're like stumbling out the bathroom. The corridor. It's like a little bit like where's the dark punk room that we just heard? You know? French manicure wipe away the residue. And then this part, I feel like it's like, okay, I'm gonna like focus, like now I'm really feeling myself kind of a vibe. But then actually you get like really sick, Too you fungus, know? yeah. Like this part coming up is very like, whoa, <laughs> like did too much, like it's not going well for me. There's like an annoying friend who's like, come on, Charlie! <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then you're just like, fuck it! But you like look like shit now, you know? <laughs> yeah. And this section never really resolves. It just sort no, of no. gets heavier and just keeps falling apart, yeah. you know? And it's kind of crunchy at this point, like, especially my mix of it, which is before it's mixed, but it's already just kind of overloading. The, the vocals from earlier are just wasted. Here. Yeah. It's like memories. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hellish memories. Um, yeah, sorry, I gave a really technical explanation of what was going on here. <laughs> and then...